Cable 8 Sports presents Foxboro High School girls basketball. Welcome to the Songus Center on the campus of the University of Massachusetts at Lowell for the State Division II girls basketball championship game between the number six seeded middies from Drake at High School and the number five Foxboro Warriors. Hello everybody, I'm Mark Farinella bringing you the play-by-play -play with Kate Hill alongside. The Warriors come into this game on a 19 game winning streak including a really thrilling 51 to 43 win over top seeded Walpole to get here. And they'll be facing the Cinderella team of this tournament. They become the darling of the Metropolitan Media. The Middies get to a state title game despite having seven losses on their records. They upset number three Wakefield on the road in the quarterfinals and number two Medfield at Worcester State by a 50 to 47 score to reach that program's first state title game. Kate, I have pins and needles right now. Uh, I'm feeling the same, but excited and hopeful that both of these teams will leave it all out on the court tonight and give us a great game. There is plenty of talent on both of these teams. The big question will probably be how they got here and the challenges they faced. Personally, I think the Hockamock League is tougher than the Merrimack Valley Conference, but they could prove us wrong tonight. Drakett has plenty of scores. We'll go through them as they are announced, and we'll let you know. Of course, the Foxborough Warriors are the home team in this game, being one seed away. And I'll tell you, that's a team that probably felt a little bit unappreciated for most of the season. Everybody thought the number five seed was a little low for them. Uh, they have proven it on the court. Foxborough has been tremendous and tremendously consistent all year long. So I would say that uh, there are reasons to fear this Drake at team. Yes. A lot of reasons, including a kid that can score 45 without batting an eyelash. And I'll mention all that when they go through the lineups. They will announce all the players on the team here in the state finals. Here at the Saunders Center, it seats 7,800. So far, a pretty good crowd. People still coming in. Kate, this is my third game here. I only I only announced one of them, but I did stick around to see Fian last night. Unfortunately, Mansfield lost the boys, and Fian girls lost. And so, the Foxborough Warriors have the responsibility of bringing one home to our area. To our area, for and, sure, Mark. Definitely. And I, and I think they can. But. It will be unfolding on the court. Here's the biggest weapon on that team, Ashley Talbot. Talbot. She threw in 45 in a game against Newburyport. Number 24, Lamise Alassad, very, very dangerous guard. Number 10, Brody Gannon. She can sneak up on you and throw in 15 points without you looking. <laughs> Amaya Alcazar, senior forward. She is a very, very aggressive player. Emma Felker, she can shoot inside and out. And the outside shots are the ones that scare me the most tonight. And now, the Foxborough Warriors. This lineup has been intact almost the entire season. You don't count a senior night. There was only one game where I think Aaron Foley didn't start because she was on a trip. And the captains, of course, Maddie Mayer is one of them. Cam Collins is the other, and when she'll go out in the court, we'll talk about her. But you folks know her, and you love her. Probably the most consistent player in the area, maybe in the state this year. Yeah, she's definitely elevated her game from sophomore year to junior year. Exciting player to watch defensively and offensively. Cam Collins, the first player to be announced for the Warriors, 17.3 7 average. Number 11, Kaylee Sullivan, a sophomore, 18.0 averaging. Aaron Foley, one of the most reliable kids on this team to give you a full effort every night. Number three, Izzy Chamberlain. She's been immense on the boards in the playoffs. And Addie Reuter, she is the X Factor. She came in here as a sophomore and proved herself all year long. The height and the fundamental strength of her is impressive. And her shooting just awesome you know out from that 12 foot area i love her mid-range shot i really do and now we will honor america with the playing of our national anthem
almost ready for basketball here, Kate. The uh, Foxboro Warriors, this is their 25th game of the season. They come in at 23-1. and one. Their only loss to Wachusett, a 50, I'm sorry, a 61-52 decision back on December 29th. The Middies come in at 20-7. and seven. This is their 28th game. Only uh, one of them do, does, did not count towards their record. They lost to Bishop Girton of New Hampshire on January 11th. So in the eyes of the MIAA, they are 20 and six. Of course, the coach of the Warriors, Lisa Downs, in her 12th year, she is 203 wins and 61 losses. And I'll tell you, I believe she's a candidate for the State Coaches Hall of Fame in short order. Uh, coach Peter Witts now in his 15th year coaching the Minis of Draco. Addie Reuter will jump center against Amaya Alcazar. For the state Division II championship, Kate. I've seen a few of these before. It's I love seeing Foxborough in it. It's exciting. Tap is won by the by the Middies. Shot by Felker from outside, no good. Rebounded by Addie Reuter, nobody around her. Gives it off to Kaylee Sullivan and she'll bring it up. We are high above courtside, as Johnny Most used to say. Steal. And that's by Felker. She'll go to the basket, and she is fouled as she gets the basket. I believe that foul is on Cam Collins, hustling back to, uh, you know, stop Felker from getting to the hole. And no, they called the... it on Foley. The thing is, they do not post the uh, fouls, individual fouls on the scoreboard. They do have the team fouls up there and the timeouts remaining. A suspended scoreboard over the court, and they miss. The free throw is missed, and Reuter with the rebound. Cam Collins will bring it up. Collins, absolutely the most consistent player I've seen in ages. She averages 17 a game. She rarely deviates from that number. The turnaround by Reuter is good. And it looks like they're totally doubling down on Addy once they get her into the block there. Well, if they're going to on a steal, and Collins with the basket. The steal was by Foley. Nice job, eh? Aaron Foley, great D. And the Warriors are up 4-2, 7.05 left. Outside shot by Felker is good. She can hit that three. And it's quickly a Drake at 5-4 lead. Drake it right. with a 1-2-2 two, two press. Um, pressuring Boxborough, but they have no problem getting it over half. All right. Foley has it, gets it into Reuter. She will drive the baseline. Too quick, too quick. And, and she gets one. it in and she's fouled. Eddie Reuter. Let's take a look at this drive by Addie Reuter from courtside. What a nice drive. And Absolutely. that might have been on uh, Ashley Tablet. Ta I'm sorry, Talbot. Reuter dips and shoots and gets it. And the Warriors lead 7-5 to five here in the early stages of this first quarter. A foul on the floor. And I... It was on Cam. She was guarding uh, Talbot. She was going down with her left hand, and uh, she was trying to pick her. And you are correct, Kate. It is a foul on Collins, second on the team, first on Collins. And that is on the floor. And a little sneaky backdoor inbounding play. And that is Felker again. She is the hot person for this Mitties team. Stolen away as Izzy Chamberlain was looking to pass away but just couldn't find her teammate. But it remains Foxborough ball off of a Mitty. Drake, it's defense. Um, our passing has to be much better. We have to think that they're always going to be in the passing lane. So a pass like that, I would have put it on the floor, definitely. It's 7-7 seven to seven here. Foxborough will take it back out. Izzy Chamberlain trying to get it into Reuter. Stolen away by Alcazar. Here comes Talbot. She is a threat, but she is also comfortable in dishing it off. Another shot by Felker, no good. Rebounded on the floor. And Chamberlain ends up with it. Foley has the ball. All right. Foley brings it up, gives it to Cam Collins. Off the glass and in. Cam Collins puts the Warriors back out in front, 9-7. Izzy Chamberlain coming up with that uh, loose ball slash rebound, creating that fast break opportunity. Collins slaps it away. It'll go out of bounds and it'll be remain Middy's ball. And, of course, if you're 
you probably know it, but that uh, stems from midshipmen. There used to be a lot of uh, commerce on the Merrimack River nearby. And so uh, from the souls that sailed the sea in those days, that's where Drake it gets its nickname. Uh, my cousin went to Drake it, and he, I said, what's a midi? He goes, you're about to find out on Saturday. <laughs> Pretty funny. They're wearing Columbia blue uniforms with white numbers. The drive no good by Al Assad. Cam Collins walking the ball up. Gives it off to Sullivan. Sullivan the left side. Goes into the middle. Brings it back out. Still in the middle. Spins. Covered closely. The outside shot is good by, K, uh, by Ava Hill. Ava comes into the game and hits a three. And another, another steal. steal. And a basket. And, and that basket is by... Sullivan. That's Kaylee Sullivan. The numbers are... <laughs> It's a long way from where we are to see them. A timeout called by Drakett as Foxborough is as in a 14-7 lead, 4.59 left in the first quarter. Foxborough showing some aggressive defense and some good uh, steals off the press so right there. I feel like, you know, Kaylee definitely wants to get, you know, more in the mix. Uh, you know, she's got the two points right in this quarter. Um, Cam's on the board, Addie's on the board, Hill is on the board. And we let's, do have a replay. Let's look at Ava. I didn't know when she went into the game, but she has a way of getting that ball and getting that three-pointer off very quickly, and that helps Foxborough start to build a lead. You got to tell me when your daughter gets into the game. <laughs> Ava, Ava really coming back strong here. I mean, I remember I saw the I saw the game the other night on a replay of it. And Ava took quite a little bouncing uh, hit off the head there yeah, in the Walpole game. Yeah, she saw some game. stars. She saw some stars But for sure. uh, she's come back and she's contributing as uh, the first player off the bench for the Warriors. So Foxborough matching up in a, a full court man. Midshipmen, midship women. Uh, yeah, you can call them middies. Just call them middies. middies. It's easier. <laughs> Make it easier. Yeah, I'd, I'd stumble on that one <laughs> if I did it all day. Actually, I think uh, on some of the, I think it might say Middy's on the uniform. I, I believe it does, it yeah. It does, yeah. A little distance away here, but. All right, we'll be inbounded by Brody Gannon. Al-Assad will bring the ball up the court. Misses the basket. Pit bodies go flying. Rebounded by Foley, but it is taken away. And no, that was Sullivan. That was Sullivan, I'm sorry. And uh, what do we have? It looked like. I think we have, we have a, Cam Collins. I think we have a foul on Sullivan here, but let's look at Cam. She's so precise on those. I think that foul was on Sullivan as the too. third team foul against Foxborough. Foxborough doing a great job of uh, hedging those screens. Long outside shot by um, Felker, no good, but rebounded by Talbot. She goes to the basket and puts it in. Her first basket of the game. Middies needed that. Hopefully she will not have another 30 of those. And Lisa Downs is Tie calling out a timeout. And to preserve her possession, so Lisa does call a timeout. Her first timeout used with 421 left here in the first quarter and the Foxborough Warriors in a 14-9 lead over the Drake at Middies. Division II state championship. We get a replay of uh, Ashley Talbot driving the lane. Yes, yeah, so much contact she's there. She's so good with that little flip. She she'll go to the basket. She'll take a lot of those. Oftentimes she won't make them because they are a little bit desperation type shots. But if she can see the glass, she hits the glass in the right spot. Sometimes she forces a few up. But she is deadly on uh, for their offense. Of course, Lisa Downs, a two-time state championship coach they uh, in 2018 they defeated Hopkinton at the Mass Mutual Center in Springfield 49-41 and of course the heartbreak of 2020 they had won the state semifinal against North Reading at the TD Garden was going to play to Connick High of Pittsfield and of course the pandemic stepped in so they awarded both of those teams a co-state championship 
Kate, I saw some of Taconic play, and that would have been a 30 point Foxborough win. I'm convinced of it. Cam Collins driving the basket, looks to pass, knocked off of a midi. It'll be, still be Fox. No, it, yes, it will be. No, it will not be. It, 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 it will, will be, be Foxborough ball. ball. I'm sorry. No, it's midi ball. It is. No, it is midi's ball. Okay. Cam I, got a little wrapped up with that uh, drive and that kick. Uh, couldn't get a handle on it, but back on the defense. Sorry for the confusion there, folks. All right, Talbot, spin move, gives it off. They almost could have been a walk on Alcazar, but she gets the basket. And it is 14 to 11 as Drake battles back. That's another dangerous thing that uh, the two-time MVP of the Merrimack Valley Conference, Ashley Talbot, can do. Three-point shot, no good by Sullivan. Rebounded by Foxborough. That's um, Ava Hill gets that one. Passing out. Ruder turns around, shoots, no good. Nice Rebound weak side Fox rebounding four. by Cam. It is off of the middies. It will be Foxborough ball. It's an interesting set. Uh, Ruder with the ball high off the block. She turns and she realizes she's wide open and she takes that jumper, but it didn't fall. Full clock for them, uh, but a quick shot by Sullivan, no good. Rebounded by the middies. Here they come on the break. Good job of Ava getting back on defense, but is still put in by Felker. Felker now has, uh, I believe, nine points. And she does, nine points in this game so far. Long pass. Ava will turn. Yeah, it's going to go. She goes. The little baby hook as she was running away from the basket, and it goes, and she's fouled. And that it will be on um, Alcazar, I believe. Yep. Let's see. Look at her go the opposite direction. And nice yes, job. that was on Good Alcazar. Nice basket by Ava Hill and the three point play coming up. Alcazar's first, and I believe team second. Ava Hill at the foul line. Misses the free throw, Ooh, rebound, almost. fought for, taken away from Reuter, and Felker came down with it. Here comes Talbot. Talbot almost uh, carried on that dribble. I don't think they're going to call anything against her, though. She's got too many uh, accolades. She's so quick. She's, She's one of those players that they will just not call fouls on. <laughs> Outside, shot, no good. And I think that was by Brody uh, Gannon. Foxborough now, the shot by Sullivan. Sullivan, you can't let her in. get hot. You cannot let her get hot. This team has to understand that. Once she hits one, it's all over. Now, there's two sets of lines on this court. One is the high school three-point line, 19 feet, nine and a half inches. The spin move by Talbot, no good. She gets her own rebound, gets it back out. It's going to go back court. No, it does not. She keeps it in, but uh, now on the line. It was on the line when it was recovered by uh, Felker. Watch Sully as she comes out. Let's see where she's yeah, where her out. feet are. Yep. I think yes, yeah, she was beyond the, the college line. She's beyond the blue. Yeah, she was behind the college line. I think they should make the high school line there because the kids are hucking it up from 25 feet now anyway. Nice screen and roll, All Addie right, Ruder. But she might have walked Ball there. Call by traveling. Call for traveling that, on that. She had a nice wide open lane. Nice, nice execution by Kaylee and uh, Addie on that. But it was, unfortunately, it was too open. <laughs> <laughs> she needed it a little bit, a little bit more difficult. For her. All right, Foxborough pressing. Al Assad will bring it up. Brings it up the court, gives it off into the corner, gets it back. Takes it over the Riverhawk logo in the middle of the court. Gives it off to Talbot. Talbot. Looking for that high screen. Cam Collins is following her. She steps back and shoots and gets it. Gets that. That's dangerous. That's going to be dangerous the whole day. So Ashley Talbot with her second basket of the game. Nice ball movement by Foxborough breaking this press. Cam Collins, Collins taking it. Collins did the same thing. And this ref wants it on the floor. She's going to call it on the floor she before. The I don't floor. think that was that was definitely. If you're going to give continuation in the previous one, you should do that there. But so it'll be Foxborough ball. I didn't catch who had that foul. Okay. We'll see the replay. Maybe up there. You know, we're not going to see it up there either. Ruder has it, gets it across. Stolen away by Talbot. Stout, Talbot will bring it in. Collins on her. Collins will foul her as she tried to block it. All right, see who uh, 
And Talbot's going for two. And well, that's the foul that's right there on Cam Collins. That's her second. There's a moment of concern there. 19 to 15, Foxborough in the lead. And of course, Talbot doesn't miss many of these. Addie Ruder, 7 0, Izzy Chamberlain back in the game. Well, it'll be good to give her a couple of seconds of a break there. Talbot's uh, scoring totals this year are just phenomenal. And yeah, I, I wouldn't count on her to miss free throws, Ashley Talbot. It's, Talbot, a, sorry. it's a two point game again, 19 to 17. Foxborough with 116 left in this first quarter. And we got a 1 3 1 zone, which uh, Foxborough needs to break with a 2 1 2 offense. Uh, Lisa uh, might not have much against that, uh, but they have worked on it in the past. All right, and Hill had a base, Hill, Hill had an open baseline to her, but she got it back and out. That's now, how there's the backdoor play. That's how you break it. Perfect job, back Aaron Foley. play to Sullivan. Two. And that 21 was to 17. All right, Talbot gets it back out to Felker. Felker will take it into the lane. The layup, no good. Rebound fought for. Chamberlain gets a tie up, and it will be on the alternating possession. It will be Foxborough ball, I believe. It is. Took them a while to figure that out, but coming in. All right, let's look at uh, underneath. So, well, There's an open really backdoor play. Really looks great when they do it. I, I thought that was Aaron. Kiara Cook with the uh, is in the game, number three. They were all wearing bandanas today. I thought the only one who did was Talbot. Almost a walk there on, uh, on uh, Cam Collins, but they get it back out. Sullivan up top to Collins. Collins will take the three. No good. Rebounded by Cook. Cook will bring the ball up. No, gives it off to Al Assad. Alisad's very shifty. She, she can do a lot of good things out there in the court. And she made the big steal against Medfield that cinched the game for the middies. Cook struggles with the ball for a second, gives it back off to Alisad. She'll take the lay and no, gets it. And a 35 second violation. They didn't know how much time was on the clock. A little bit of a dropping of a shoulder when she drives that lane before she kicked it out. So, you know, refs got to watch out for that. That was the end of the quarter. No, that's not the end. Of yes, it is the end of the quarter. High, All right. high scoring first quarter. I didn't quarter. even know what time it was on. So after one, Foxborough leads Drake at 21 to 17 here in the state Division II title game. And a kind of a high scoring uh, first quarter, um, 21 to 17. Uh, and then, you know, with the middies with a 1 3 1 defense showing Foxborough. Um, that they are putting up this defense and Foxborough kind of looking a little bit puzzled, but then with Kaylee breaking to the hoop on the right, you know, that's how you break that. Um, and you do not dribble through that type of zone. You have to move the basketball. It looks a little deceiving with the one person up top with the three people in the middle. And you know, you have the corners open, almost like a, 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 a dice, you know, like a five dice. The uh, scoring pretty, pretty even among the Warriors right now. Four scores for them so far, Collins, Sullivan, Hill and Ruder all are in the general vicinity of each other. Uh, only three kids have scored for Drake so far. Uh, Talbot has six points. Uh, Alcazar has two. And Emma Felker came out with the hot hand. And she has nine. Warriors again. Collins with four. Sullivan with seven. Hill with five. And Ruder with five. Foxborough's going to turn up this defense. Be very careful. I think Talbot and... Uh Al Assad are going to look to drive and then obviously kick out to uh, Felker because she is hot. Well, Talbot tried to drive that time and she ran into a wall of Warriors, lost the ball, and she was saying, oh, I know it's still our ball, but it wasn't. All right, Foley gets it off, stolen. They anticipate these passes well. No good by Felker, though. Ball is loose, goes out to uh, Corinne Kumis, but the Warriors get it because Cam Collins is on the job. Collins will bring it up, passes it off. And uh, back over to Sullivan, Sullivan. Collins takes the three straight on, no, off the rim. Sullivan races for the rebound. Another shot clock for the Warriors. Inside, another great backdoor play. Amazing. Foxborough Addie. feeling more comfortable against this zone. Addie Reuter, who, was the, who did it go to first? Uh, I believe uh, from 
two rooter was from was, Chamberlain. It was Chamberlain, you're right. And there's a lay in by Talbot. You're not going to see her miss many of those. It's 23 to 19, Foxborough here. 648 remaining in the first half. Cam Collins has the ball, gives it off to Aaron Foley. Over to Kaylee Sullivan. Sullivan on the baseline, gets it back out to Collins. Collins drives, rebounded by Chamberlain, was on the rebound, the ball back out, another shot and a foul. Let's see what they got. I think the foul's on Felker, I believe. Yes. Let's look at this, another again, great passing to develop this play. Pass, pass, score, I love that. Ruder has the ball. In the corner, Foley now gets it back out. Again, they're anticipating, and they seem to be targeting uh, Sullivan a little bit. Sullivan has it, though, gets it back at the top of the key. She's going to take the very long three. I hope she's not going get confused by those lines. Three for a basket, maybe, by Alcazar. Yes, indeed, she did. I'm sorry, that was uh, al -Assad. That was al -Assad. I'm sorry. All right, Warriors back in the forecourt. 550 left in this first half. Ruder gets a skip pass, gets a, another pass from Chamberlain. Turn around, no, auto. Ball is in the hands of the Drake at middies. Long three, really long three. That was about 26 feet. Did not go, and Foxborough has the rebound. Talbot will try some of those sometimes. You know what I was surprised by in their game against Medfield, they were shooting those when they should have been taking time off the clock. Bruder has the ball, she'll be fouled on the floor. The foul is on Emma Felker, that's her second. And that's a really nice job of Izzy cutting to that right elbow and then looking in the short corner and Addy, but Addy getting pushed off the block again, followed by Felker. That is the fifth team foul against the Middies. Inbounding pass stolen away goes out off of off of uh, Drake it. It will be Foxborough ball. I don't think Lisa's very happy with these passes. Uh, you know they have to be sharper. There's no question about it. Minnie's just getting a hand in all those passing lanes. Foxborough's going to tighten that up. 23-21 is the score. 5-16 left. Pass comes out to Sampson. Gets it over to. Foley now in the corner, Sullivan, three. three. Again, good ball, good good looking for the open shot, and Sullivan had it. Pull up, no, by Talbot. Now Talbot's taking a few unwise shots. She's got to get her team more involved in it now. I think she's got that thought in her head that she's got to take over, but and it's you, way too early in the game for that. And use the shot clock. You know, something like that. Use the shot clock. Get the I, I think that's a lesson they haven't learned yet from what I saw against Medfield. All right. Foley has it left side. Gets it across the court to Sullivan. I'm sorry, that was to um, uh, Sampson, rather. Quick passing around on the perimeter. Sampson will take the shot. No good. Rebounded by almost by Sullivan. Taken away by Talbot. Talbot on the break. Has teammates down there with her. The shot no good by Brody Cannon. Foxborough coming up. Gannon, rather, I'm sorry. All right, Foley passes to Sullivan, now gets it back, middle, right side. And I'm, I'm not gonna call her Ashley, I promise. <laughs> Kylie puts up but the three. Samson gets the three. Great job, great patience she, by Foxborough. She does some of those things that her sister used to do. Kylie Sampson with a three-pointer. Foxborough extends the lead to eight. 30, uh, 353 left. Gannon with the ball, gives it back to Talbot. Talbot stops at the perimeter. Lisa Downs extorting her troops, watch her shoot. And she does, goes in and out. And almost a foul on number 11 yep. from the middies. Uh, looks like she was hanging on to Addy. Because otherwise Addy can get that rebound and, quite easily. And she did anyway, so Foxborough has the ball. Sampson to Sullivan. Sullivan will take the long three. Again, she's got to remember she can go into that white line. 
Great ball tip rebound, loose. but back in the hands of the Al Middies. Al Assad in control of the ball. Gives it off to Talbot. She takes the college three and she gets it. 11 points for Talbot in the game. 29-24 Foxborough. Three minutes exactly left in the second quarter of play here at the, Ma at the you know, I almost said Mass Mutual, at the uh, at U.S. Lowell's Sanga Center. The turnaround by Reuter, no good. Rebound on the ground, fought for it, it'll be a tie-up. Reuter unfortunate with that little turnaround jumper. Let's watch Kylie uh, put one in here, like her sister used to do. Great job. Absolutely. Very helpful. A couple of Foxborough Warriors coming in. Ava Hill had to check back to the table. I guess, um, yeah, now they check her in. Somebody's a stickler for checking in there, which is a good thing that you have it at, that, at this level. And Izzy Chamberlain will take a rest. Warriors have the ball. Out to, out to Reuter. Now they go around, the, go around outside. Collins. Collins gets an offensive foul, and you know what? You know, I, I'm not I'm not trying to be too much of a homer here, but Talbot was moving as much as Collins was, and that's her third foul, and that is something that Lisa Downs is going to have to manage. Let's watch this. Let's see how she was absolutely not established. She absolutely not established. She sold it. I'll give her that. Well, she is a superstar. And deserving, I guess. All right. Al Assad will go right to the basket. It will not drop in. The rebound, a foul on the attempted rebound by number 11. That is uh, Riley Fahey. And she will go to the foul line. Foul is on Ava Hill. Her first, the sixth on the Warriors. Riley Fahey, one of the very few substitutes that they use, misses the first. You get Cook, you get Fahey, you get Mackenzie Murphy, and that's really about it of the kids on their roster that really get into the uh, game for the middies. She misses the second and the rebound by Ava Hill. A statement rebound. She went for forceful up for that one. Middies still in this 2-3 defense. In the middle, Hill will take the quick shot. It bounces in. Excellent. Sullivan saw her and she got up. She put the shot up. Ava Hill with two. She now has seven points in this game. Talbot fakes out her defender, but she doesn't get the shot. Ruder with the rebound. Here come the Warriors on the break. Sullivan will go to the basket. They're going to no, call her for gonna, the carry. She's going to be called for the carry. Uh. My God. That's the first carry I've seen called in the three games I've seen here at the tournament. You know, everybody does it these days, so we should be called a lot more, but. I blame the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> the poor fundamental, the, well, poor, the poor showing of their skills sometimes. I'm just, just, I'm just so surprised <laughs> that I haven't seen any called, right. and yet you see the dribbles, and a lot of kids turn the ball over like that now. Al Assad gives it to Gannon. Gannon will take the lane, pop, no good, and rebounded by Sampson, I believe that was. Yes, it was. And Sullivan brings it up, gets it back. Sullivan will take the end to college three, hits it! Sullivan! This she kid's is just deadly when she lights up, you know? You gotta, you gotta close out on her, you gotta put that hand up by the middies. Uh, drive to the basket, that's not gonna go. They're gonna call the foul before. And that foul, I think, might. It is on Aaron Foley. That's her second. With 1.10 left, Foxborough up by 10. But the ever dangerous Ashley Talbot at the foul line. She's working really hard to keep her team back in the game. Gets the first. Yeah. Kate, you handle this one. So Ava's got that right elbow pop, and got she the, puts it up. Got a favorable bounce there. Favorable bounce, yep. Two free throws for Talbot. And Sullivan will bring the ball up for the Warriors, crosses the timeline. 
Looks to the right side, goes to Sampson, gets the ball back. Into Reuter. Reuter uh, back out to Sampson for three. No. And that was one time I thought she could have taken another step in and take that shot. That was a about a foot off the range there. Well, let's look at what Kaylee Sullivan can do from that outside, way outside. Boom. All right. Al Assad will bring the ball up for the middies. She's going to dish it off. Oh, I thought Talbot really walked on that one. No. Well, that wasn't Talbot on the first pass. Uh, these kids are wearing bandanas and they're confusing me. That was actually Cook that took the step, but Talbot missed the shot later, and now the Foxborough Warriors have it. 34 seconds left in the first half. Samson thought about it. They're up by eight. Working the ball around. Foley has it in the corner. Hill gets it. Hill's feeling it tonight. Yes, she is. 36 to 26. Was that a two? I guess it was. It was a two. She was down in that that corner on the zone, and she just was kind of open, and she had that short jumper there. Talbot, Talbot. walks, does it, but the shot is blocked. It goes into the hands of Ruder. Can they get another shot off? Here it goes. No. Oh. Sampson puts it off the rim, but a good first half for the Foxborough Warriors. They let's take a look at Ava on that uh, on the corner shot there. Just a little bit in there, about an 18 footer. And she gets it. But that is that pocket that is wide that open. That baseline jumper, Kate, is something I really love seeing that these kids can hit. So, halftime is here. Foxborough 36, Drake at 26. Kate, you talk for a couple of seconds about some of the things that you'll see, and then I'll come right back with the scoring totals. So, going forward into the second half, uh, I believe, you know, Lisa's going to be talking about some adjustments on defense. Uh, we got Cam Collins with three fouls. We need her back in the game. Um, all in all, everybody else has at least, you know, Kaylee has one, Erin has one, Ava has one, if I kept track appropriately. But Foxborough really needs to, one, take care of the basketball, understand that Drake is always going to be in those passing lanes, and also, you know, we need to work a little bit harder on defense. Rebounding, I think we're doing a pretty good job, um, and also doing a pretty good job of recognizing if this uh, Middies team is in a 1-3-1 or the 2-3 zone. Um, and I don't think they can match up against us five on five. I don't think that they're going to plan to do that. They might do it in a for, full court pressure situation, um, but Foxborough is doing a pretty good job of fixing their mistakes from getting pressured on the full court press as well. Um, but we need to keep Addie involved because when she starts hitting, she wants the ball in her hands and she wants to hit that you know short range jumper, uh, whether it's on the baseline or whether it's you know in the paint. Well, my scoring totals add up, so I'm happy about that. Uh, let's let's go over them right now. The Foxborough Warriors, uh, Cam Collins had four points, but yep, she's got those three fouls. You got to be worried about that a little bit. But she knows how to play with foul trouble. And I remember what was that memorable game that we saw a while back when she uh, was playing with five in the whole fourth quarter, and she ended up making the. I was trying to remember which one, it was one of the uh, Foxborough uh, the Warrior tournament games. It, it might have been the Brookline game. I think you're right. It was the Brookline game because the Warriors just... came back from a big deficit and did a great job there, and Collins was immense at the end of that. Uh, Kaylee Sullivan leading the way for the Warriors with 13 points. She has three threes. Uh, Kylie Sampson has a three-pointer. Uh, Ava Hill, nine points. And let me just check something here on my scorecard that I have here. Her season high, her career high is 14. Uh, that was last year against Mansfield. So I think she didn't have a chance to work on that a little bit here. And Addie Reuter has seven points, and that adds up to 20, I'm sorry, to 36, I'm sorry. For the middies of Drake at High School, Ashley Talbot has 13. She's leading the way, and she's taken a few shots that weren't necessarily wise, but, you know, you just got to give her the opportunity to take the shots because she knows what she's doing out there, yes. and she can do it very well. Um, Riley Fahey, 0 for 2 at the foul line. Uh, Lamise Al-Assad, two points. Amaya Alcazar, two points. And Emma Felker, who came out like a house of fire with nine points in the first quarter, did not get an opportunity in the second quarter. And that brings us to 26 points. So uh, nine points by the, uh, by the um, uh, middies in that quarter. And um, let's see, 15 by the Warriors, I believe. Yep. So 
We have a 10 point lead here at the break. And uh, it's still know. anyone's game. Mark. Yep. It's anyone's game. And, you know, as in girls basketball and historically speaking, you know, we've seen Foxborough do some really amazing things. Um, but this Mideast team, they want to be here. They just literally traveled from up the street. They probably packed for free. Um, and <laughs> they are excited. They want to win this. They've never been this far. And they're going to and I think Ashley Tal Tal Talbot is going to guide them. I think this is the fifth appearance in a state championship game for the Foxborough Warriors. Um, their first one came in 1995 when they defeated Lee by the score of 65-62 in two overtimes when Dan Damish was the coach. That was a Division Three game. In 1997, they defeated Swampscott to, to get to the game at the DCU, but they lost to Lee 65-56. Uh, to And again, another Division Three. And then in 2003, they got to the final again. They lost a heartbreaking one-pointer. 45-44, uh, again, a Division Three game. And I can't remember the name of the kid from Lee, but she there was a girl who was really hitting pro-length three-pointers practically the whole game. Nobody else scored in that game, so I forgot. The I wish I could remember her name. But I don't the, have it either, Mark. But it was, it was uh, that was the big difference. And, you know, again, unfortunate. But then again, the, Fox, the Warriors came back. Uh, get into the 2018 championship game. Remember, they had reached the TD Garden in the state semifinal in 2017, but they lost to Arlington Catholic. And I remember that game. I, the Warriors not only got beat up in that game, but their fan base was terrible. They were just, they were insulting the whole game. And, they're, you know, I didn't expect that from a Catholic school, to be honest. In fact, I even wrote a letter to the athletic director, never heard back from him. But I said, as a, as a writer at the Sun Chronicle, I was kind of overstepping my bounds a little bit, but I just said, I never heard more rude chants in a girls' basketball game in my life from and their I was there. I, that was actually Samson's 1,000-point game. I, was, I, I don't recall. Maybe I just was It was pretty brutal. It was, I was on that side right next to them, and they, they were brutal. I don't think the Warriors heard it as much, but Lisa did. And I was talking to Lisa Downs afterwards, and she was furious, as I remember. But uh, then again, the following year, 2018, they defeated Pentucket in a really good game at Luburn. Another one where they came back from something like 20, 20 points 20 down. 20 points. And that game was moved to Luburn. They were supposed to be at the TD Garden, but there was a big snowstorm, and the Garden was in use for the replace for the uh, rescheduling date. So they played it at Luburn. Foxborough won in the big comeback, and then they defeated Hopkinton at the Mass Mutual Center in Springfield. 49-41 on the same day that my beloved Mansfield Hornets won their first state championship, defeating Franklin for the Division I championship that year. So, of course, the, set, the next six state championship was awarded to the Warriors uh, because they, uh, you know, title game against Taconic was uh, canceled because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, everybody was looking forward to that game, everybody too. Everybody was looking forward to that game. I was at that game as well. That would have been, <laughs> that a, that would have been at the DCU because they were still playing there. At the ten. Now they've gone a little different here. We have, uh, you know, this is a very nice facility. Seats 7,800 people, uh, multi-purpose. Multi -purpose. There's an ice rink below the floor. Haven't seen too many instances of uh, the dead, dead spots balls. on the floor. No, so I haven't that's, either. That's been good so far. So... Drake, it's already out shooting around here, even though there's about two minutes left. Here come the Warriors. Ava Hill leading them out of the locker room. The Warriors, of course, dressed in their white uniforms as the top seed. Blue letters on Foxborough. Everybody asked me, why don't they spell it F-O-X-B-O-R-O-U-G-H? Well, it's probably to save money with those three letters. Exactly. Great point. <laughs> Besides, everybody knows Foxborough with just the O at the end. And, of course, they have uh, gold numbers on these, which, uh, if you don't know the team, it challenges you a little bit from a yeah, distance. Yeah, you're definitely not a big fan but of that. But fortunate, <laughs> fortunately, they are very well recognizable to me after having seen them so long. And Lisa Downs in her 12th year as the head coach, and I, I just have to, I think she is often the, she's kind of like the ace in the hole for these Warriors. She played as Lisa Garland in the 1980s. Yep. She went to SMU at the time it was called UMass Dartmouth, now Southeastern Massachusetts uh, University then. And she was an assistant coach on that state championship team that they beat Lee in double overtime uh, with Dan Damish on Dan Damish's staff. 
Lisa was very pregnant at that time with, I think it was her first son. I she has three. So. She has three. I think it was her first one. I'm not sure about that, but all I know, is, was, that, yeah, all I know is that she could barely move, but uh, she was there doing her job. I think she looked good, though, yep. in the she, white. <laughs> she, and not the only Foxborough coach that's ever coached pregnant. Uh, when the Foxborough Warriors went to the t uh, to the what the original Boston Garden in 1988, that team with uh, Sarah Bain, Holly Grinnell, and Jody Riley, and they lost to Wakefield, unfortunately. But they, um, but uh, Coach Nancy Wojcik was extremely pregnant. Sarah Bain's coach, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it just goes to show you, women can do anything, right? Yeah, I mean, we, 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 try, we try, we try, we I try. I don't want to be digging myself in a hole. We're <laughs> almost ready for the second half of this game. The Foxborough Warriors lead Drake it 36 to 26. We've talked through the halftime, which sometimes we don't do here, but I'm glad to do it. Working with Kate Hill, I'm Mark Farinella, and everybody from Foxborough Cable Access. I'm sorry we couldn't do this one live for you, but I hope you're going to enjoy this as you're watching it as we are enjoying bringing it to you. At least right now we are with the score in our favor. Right, and I think it's an MIAA rule why um, they want to do their own. Um... Well, they sell the rights okay. of the games, of these, of a lot of the games to the National Federation of High Schools Network. Um, and you actually worked for them on one of the games because they simulcasted the Walpole game. Okay, all right, you. great. So, that went out over the NFH network. They, uh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they keep it out there and let you know what's going on. They, but that's because they have to be exclusive. Like I worked for Mansfield Cable last night for their game against uh, against Malden Catholic, and we had we couldn't do it live either. All right, underway. The middies with the ball on the first uh, series. Talbot has it, gives it off to Gannon. Gannon loses the ball out of bounds. And they turn it over. Good defense Did by that, Foxborough. I think that went off of Al, Al Assad there, I think. She was trying to pass it off, but so Foxborough has the ball. 7.45 left. We've just started the third quarter here. And the, mid, the middies have switched to a man, I think. Collins gives it back out to Reuter. Turn around short. I don't think Reuter had the uh, had the eye on the basket at that time, but it goes off of a midi, and it is Foxborough ball again. 22 seconds on the shot clock. All right, Reuter has it. Far right, gets it across, gives it over to uh, Chamberlain. Now back out. Foley has it. Foley covered by that very, very pes pesky player there, that uh, Al-Assad. She is good. Ramis Al-Assad. Foxborough needs to get a shot off. One second of the shot clock. They do get one off and rebounded Addy by Reuter. Reuter gets the basket on the rebound. Whoa, they made the most of that possession. And Kaylee driving the lane there, Talbot trying to make something goes, happen. No look pass to the corner. The shot by Felker, I believe. Was it? It was. Yes, Anna it was. For the three. Nice. It's a little distant here. The numbers are a little small. I will try my best to make sure I know who these kids are. But Felker with the three. Now the shot. By Sullivan, no good. Rebound underneath. Comes away, middies. Here comes Talbot. Talbot on the right side. Passes across the middle to She's on Al Assad. the line. She's she on the line. The, she was on the line. No, I'm sorry, that was uh, Gannon who had the ball there. Long ponytails on this team. Quick uh, tying of a shoe now, and Foxborough will have the ball. Showing a press here is... Not a not a full court press. I mean, they, they don't have everybody covered. That's why Foley could get it up across the court. But she has the ball on the logo at the center court. Now yeah. comes in Collins on the break into the basket. And and go. Nice job. Now they're definitely in a man to man, and that's what I said. I, you know, Collins recognizing that and understanding that she can just fake and like slash back to the hoop. Back to our cut. Uh. Off the hands of. Talbot. So frustrating for her. She was ready to make something happen. I think she was trying to make it happen before she had control of the ball there. All right, Fox with the ball. Cam Collins will have it. Gives it back off to Foley quickly. Into Chamberlain underneath to Reuter. No, doesn't go. Reuter gets the rebound. Turnaround jumper. Yes. She timed it so well. Her timing is just perfect when I she gets love, that jump. I love her turnaround jumper. I really do. And she keeps the ball so high, it's difficult for her to be defended on that. All right, Talbot will take the incredibly long three. 
Very short, goes out of bounds, Foxborough ball. She's still gonna work it. She's gonna work shooting from the outside. She's gonna keep driving. She wants to keep her middies in this game. Well, I, I think they'll have at least one drive left in them. I mean, we're already talking it. we've only gone a couple minutes into this quarter, but Foxborough starting to creep out. Now the lead is 13. Oh, oh off of the hands of Great the pass from Foley. Foley goes to Collins. Let's look at Addie on the turnaround jumper on her putback. Gets it, turns around, the ball is always high and she knows where she is on the floor. Great shot. This kid's gonna be fun to watch. They're all gonna be fun to watch again. Remember folks, they're all back next year. Backing in is Felker No. Gives it out to Al Assad now to Ta Talbot. Uh, fr short on the front rim, will bounce out of bounds. She'll keep shooting. Foxborough ball. She will keep shooting. And we got Ashley Sampson checking in for Cam, giving Cam a little rest. Protect her from getting that fourth foul. She's smart, though. That game against Brookline was one of the best moments of, of foul management I've ever seen. And I, again, I, I, I go back a half century for covering sports you around do, these areas. Do. So Something to be proud of. Yeah, I hope I can stick around a while longer. <laughs> All right. Foxborough back and forth here now comes out to Sampson gets it over to Sullivan outside the line now and inside I would have said three fouls already but no the shot is Chamberlain by Chamberlain Izzy now that's Chamberlain. unexpected was she on the line or did they give her two she had two that was a two pointer All but right. Izzy Chamberlain that lining was, up with the jump shot becoming a part of the scoring book here and that was a timeout basket as coach Peter will Awesome. Peter Witz calls the timeout. Let's see the timeout. Okay, ooh, look at that. Was she, she, how far out was she? Was she, she on? I think she was on the line, but that was a that well, was a on the line, we're still good, though. But 44 to 29 is the score. I would imagine we're going to get a heavy dose of Talbot coming forward. But some of those other kids can store, score, too. And I, I'm, I, I hope... I mean, for if you're a tal if you're a fan of the Drake at Middies, and of course most of you viewing are not, but if I would want to see her spread it around a little bit, because there are kids that are open. Felker has already shown some. I, I like I said before, Brody can Brody Gannon is a very sneaky little shooter, and she can get a three or two every right. now and then. So, got to be careful with these kids. They are good. Don't get any false hopes at this stage of the game. 4:44 left, third quarter. Foxborough up 44 to 29. So. All right. Talbot will bring it across. Foley on her. She'll go right to the basket. Rolls off. Rebounded by Al Assad. And she'll take it back out. Long rebound. Bouncing came out to her. She'll go right around back into the paint had to shoot over Reuter rebounded no good by Alice um, by Al, Has Al I'm sorry uh, Al Assad I'm sorry that rebound was by Al Kassar and then there was a foul down here so that's on uh, this one is on Al Assad all right and Camel shoot two all right Collins goes to the basket and she'll have an opportunity to add to her scoring total which is Obviously a little lower than usual because of the fouls, but never count Cam Collins out of getting her points. No, she's coming to play in this quarter. Um, six points for the game, seven now with that foul shot, but you can tell that she's ready, even with the three fouls. Dribbles, dips and shoots, and perfect. it's perfect, exactly, as you said. All right, Drakett has the ball in the forecourt. And off looking for possibly the long three again, and she does. Talbot uncorks it. She ought to go in a little bit shorter and shoot. She's shooting from behind the college line and well behind it. And she's going to play at St. Michael's, I think, as a D2 I think so, school. yes. Uh, that's exciting for her. That's Where a former Foxborough athlete, Holly Grinnell, who played for Bryant, scored 39 points against St. Michael's for her career high, and I believe that is still the shared school record at Bryant for single games in the game. Uh, 
I'm not sure about that. I didn't. I was waiting for him to kind of assess if Kaylee stepped on the yep. line. But I think, I, I think, I think she's done that a million times, and she knows where that line is. So I think well, he was. I think he was assuming she was going to step on it. Well, but Foxborough still has the ball, though. So I got to admit, I was too busy gabbing to actually pay attention to much. I thought she had stepped on the line, but maybe she got. A push. May, I think maybe she was bumped, and I didn't hear yeah, the foul call. There was a foul. All right, stolen by Al Assad. Al Assad will take it into the paint, holds up. Looking for Talbot, she's all alone. That's not gonna go. Wow, she's shooting from too far out. She really is. Sullivan gets it up to Foley. Foley, left side. You can see the, uh, they're being a little bit more physical now. Stop and pop by Collins, no good. Ball is loose. Al Assad comes away with it. She will bring it up the court. Again, tries to penetrate, throws it off the side of the backboard. Foxborough has the rebound, that was Foley. They're taking unwise shots right now. They're rushing him. They're feeling the panic. Three Collins by hits. Collins. Collins coming alive in this quarter. It's 49 to 29. Here comes Talbot, runs one off the glass. Yes, she'll she score answers. that one. 49-31, Foxborough, 240 left here in the third quarter. Sullivan takes it around. Collins underneath. Reverse layup, Collins. Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful basket. Amazing. She has nine points in the quarter. Out to Al Assad. No good off the run. It's batted out of ball. Oh, I thought that was off of uh, I thought that was off of Al uh, Al but and Addie it was battling. off of Addie. Addie battling with Alcazar um, underneath the position. Um, I, I would watch her, number 31, on uh, the middies just because she's been battling with Bruder and she might be called for the over the back foul. All right, middies will inbound to the left of the basket as they're looking at the court. Comes out to Talbot. Talbot will throw up the long three, short. Rebounded by Cook. Talbot pushes off to try to get position. Underneath, what a great, oh, oh blocked by Addie! What Addie Bruder with the Beyond block! Beyond the pass. And uh, Hill will give it off to Collins. Sullivan will take the three. Gets Drains it! it. Drains oh, it! Oh my goodness, they're playing well right now, aren't they? 54-31. Talbot, top of the key. She's still gonna take that 25, 26 footer. No good, rebound by Cook. Gannon no good. The ball is loose on the floor, a tie-up. Nice it hustle. will be Foxborough ball. Nice hustle with uh, Ava Hill to get on the floor there for that tie-up. 120 five left, a timeout called. I think it was by Lisa Downs. Let's look at Cam Collins going to the basket here. She's just playing so focused she, right now. Nice Eyes to the open, rim. speedy, and the reverse layup. Amazing. That's what that kid does, and she's going to do it for another year here, too. She is. The Warriors up 54 to 31 here. Very impressive showing right now. I'm not going to get too encouraged yet, though, because I still believe this is a good team. Let's see Addie Reuter contribute defensively. Look at this, open shot. Addie's nice. long arms up there. No, not, no body contact at all, all ball. Kaylee Sullivan, Sullivan line up with a three. Again, that's beyond the college arc too. Amazing. Boom. See, that's the thing about these uh, college and pro arenas, with all the lines that are painted on, the kids just look down and they see a line, <laughs> and that's where they shoot from. I, I would really love to see the high school three-point shot come out to the 20, 21 foot, whatever it is that the colleges do, because I, I, they're all shooting from there. And look at look at some of the shots that Talbot's throwing up. I'm not saying that's a good thing because she's throwing up 27, 28 footers, and she's not making them. They're coming up short. 123 left, and the Warriors have the ball. Aaron Foley brings it up. Collins breaks, but comes back behind the line. Now she'll go back in. Pass to Ava Hill. Now gets it back out. Into Reuter, Reuter looks to Hill, gets it back out to Foley. 13 seconds left in the shot clock. Mitty still Fox in a man to man. Foxborough resets. Off the rim by Foley, and it'll be Drake at ball. 
51 seconds left. Can they get a momentum basket here? Uh, another big three. Yes, they do. She hits. Talbot. Talbot takes the deep one and gets it. But they've only got three baskets in this quarter. 37 seconds left. Foxborough has the ball. Reuter is fouled by Felker, and that should be her third. No, they called it on Alcazar. I'm sorry, 31, you're right. When I rule the world, I'll dictate uniforms with bigger numbers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Foxborough has the ball. Inbounded to Reuter. Gets it out to, to Sampson. Now over to Collins. The drive and the back pass back out to Hill. Off the mark. Rebound on the floor and, and a big, at a goes big out boom, of bounds. Uh, I think Talbot, uh, she banged her knee. Yeah, that sounded like, she, I can hear it from here. Yeah, she drove. That hurts. She, she dove for the ball off her hands, and yes, you could hear that thud. She's That's walking painful. it off. Foxborough has the ball with uh, 21 seconds left in the quarter. Shot clock is off. Collins goes into the lane. Underneath the Rooter. Oh, it's going to go. Nice dish by Cam Collins. Collins to Rooter, and the Warriors are up 22. The drive and a foul. The drive by Talbot. She will go to the foul line. Fouls on Ava Hill. That should be her second. And Ashley Talbot will go to the foul line. I'll tell you, she's an exciting player. I mean, if you have her on her team, you love her. There's no question about it. Gets the first one. Let's look at Addie get that roller in. Good pass by Collins. Look at that. Roll, roll, roll in. Two free throws for Talbot. She's 100% from the line. Three, two, one. The shot goes up. Oh. oh, off the glass. Foxborough at the end of three quarters leads. Drake it 56 to 36. Kate, eight minutes away, and they're doing things right. I haven't seen too many breakdowns at all, so I think they're playing a very smart game tonight. Very smart. Uh, Foxborough only with one foul in the half, um, in the quarter, excuse me. Uh, Drake it. We know that they're going to give the ball to Ashley Talbot. Um, and they're going to try to probably work a little bit maybe with uh, Felker uh, as well. She's another strong player. Uh, we got Talbot on the bench. She's, she's, she's up and walking after banging that knee. But that might affect, you know, her legs shooting from the outside, that, that big bang to the knee. So um, well, I have a feeling as a pure shooter, <laughs> she could probably uh, be on her. She yeah, with the adrenaline flowing, the floor of course. And still throwing up good shots. But the question is, a lot of them haven't fallen for her yet. Foxborough outscored Drake at 20 to 10 in that quarter. And here we are, eight minutes away from what could be Foxborough's third state championship so under the coaching of Lisa Downs. So on the floor, we have Sampson, Cam Collins, Ava Hill, Addie Reuter, and Kaylee Sullivan for Foxborough. And inbounding the ball, Drake it has it. Talbot can't dribble, gets it off her legs. Is she still on and the almost floor? A travel. Manages to get it out, though. That's Gannon over there. Now Talbot has it back. Talbot trying to spin it off Cam Collins. She does make a second off spin, balance. but doesn't she goes get the down. I'll tell you one thing. That was impressive that there were moves, but she just didn't get the shot. Addie Reuter. Addie Reuter running the floor like a legend. They, while I was talking, Foxborough was working, and they got the basket to Addie Reuter. Here's Al Assad. No, gives it off, I guess. Yes, she does. In the corner, Talbot. She'll have the ball in her hands practically the whole quarter. And that shot, way short. She just didn't get any elevation on that jump, and maybe that is hurting her. Let's look at Addie as they, as she, they work the fast break. There it is, and she just goes right to the basket. No nonsense. She can move. She That's can the move. thing, too. No nonsense. No, mo no moves that were unnecessary. Does the job. Drake it. Inbounding the ball. Close to a five-second violation. Al Assad comes away with it. Comes it out to the perimeter. She's going to go into the lane. She's going to try for the layup against Collins. No. Rebound fought for Reuter. No, it goes, falls back into the hands of Al Kassar. 
Alcazar gets the basket. She has four points for the night. 58-38. Foxborough up, 6.52 left. The Aaron drive to the basket by Aaron Foley. She is fouled in the way, and it's a good thing, too, because that basket was going in from the opposite direction. From the, uh, yeah, the underside. <laughs> that would be on Felker, I believe. That should be her third. Let's see when they announce it. I don't know. The official's going to ask. Uh, I don't think he's having trouble with these numbers, too. <laughs> Nice uniforms. I mean, Columbia Blue is a nice shade. It really is. I think mid the middies were looking for a charge on that call, um, okay. but the refs are past that. And I didn't hear who they assessed it to, but it doesn't matter. Aaron Foley goes to the foul line. That was on Felker. That was a third. All right. Foley misses the first. Karen Kumis goes back in. And Felker will get a rest. It was 6.49 left. Aaron Foley looking to get on to the scoring totals. Shoots left-handed and, and gets she makes it. it. Awesome. 59-38. Foxborough in the lead. Lamis Al-Assad brings the ball up. And she is the only on the floor, yep. I believe, right now. She's going to turn, drive. Puts it up, no good. Rebounded Addie Reuter. And she is tied up. Al Assad got a hand in there. And the possession arrow gives it to Drake, it, I believe. Nope, it's Foxborough's ball. All right. I like when I can see possession arrows. <laughs> All right, Ava Hill. Will be met with a little bit of defense by she Talbot. She gets it across. Talbot's looking gives it for a off seal. to Foley. Foley with Talbot on her. Gives it to Collins. Collins has Al Assad on her. Collins will go into the lane, has it slapped away, but a foul is called. Is that on Talbot? I don't know. I don't think so. Not that it matters. That is on Al Assad. Hardly any foul trouble for these uh, middies, really. So Foxborough has the ball with 6-12 left. Aaron Foley will inbound it. Gets it in to Sullivan. Sullivan's bumped around and loses bumped the ball. Bumped around is right. They missed that one. Yep, and so here comes Talbot. Talbot takes the long three again and hits it. All right, she knows what her role is at this stage of the game. They're going to try to go one possession at a time to chip away at Foxborough's lead. And Foxborough has to be a very smart. Um, Timeout. Timeout called by Lisa Downs. They were having trouble inbounding the ball. So Foxborough calls a pause to this game with 5.52 left. Leading by 18. Let's look at, see, let's see whether she's hucking these shots up from. Look at that. That's a 25 footer. She has 23 points right now. She can play, there's no question about it. But a big thing right now, and I could see this, maybe Lisa's uh, f thought was give her what she gets, don't let anybody else get anything. And you know, that's that's one way of looking at a team with a really good player. Now, they have other weapons on this team, but obviously they feel it in their bones somewhere that if, if Talbot isn't doing it completely, like hitting every shot, they and then not getting taking the ball away from them, they kind of get a little nervous with what they're doing. I've seen that in some of their other games. I'll say this much too: they are among the luckiest teams I've seen this year. Uh, some of the calls that they got in the Medfield game at Worcester State were absolutely incredible, <laughs> and it kept their uh, kept their comeback alive because Medfield was well on its way to being in this game. But in the latter stages, Medfield just couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Now another. Those are the passes, you know, that we yep. have to be really Sullivan careful. Sullivan hucks it up to Hill. Smart move. Hill gets it back to Sullivan. Back to Hill, and they break the press. Aaron. Corner three by Foley. No good. Rebound. Cam Collins. It's uh, and that's a late call, call a by foul. him. Is that on Collins? That's a late call. It is on Collins. That's her fourth. And that is her fourth foul. Yep. 5.37 left, you don't want to lose her, even though there is a substantial lead here. In the era of the three-pointer, that can go away in a hurry. Talbot will step back. 
behind the college line. Now she comes into the lane, spin move, throws it up, no good. Rebounded, directed by Reuter to Hill. Foxborough has it up. Collins on the break under the basket. Oh. Now she is fouled, though. She'll get two free throws out of it. And that is on, uh, I think, Lamise Al Assad. That is her second. And that's actually her third foul, okay? I know it's hard to tell sometimes, but here is Cam Collins, and she's usually ice at this stage of the game. She got the first one. That is her 14th point in this game. And what was I saying about consistency? Consistency is key. Cam yes. Collins, the second free throw. Up to 15 for her now. 20-point lead, Izzy Chamberlain goes back in, gives Cam Collins a little bit of a rest. Probably keep her out for a minute or so, I would think. Yeah, we need uh, we need everything we can get out of Cam Collins um, yep. with these four fouls. All right. And we need Erin, who's doing a great job on Talbot. She nice dish there. Drop pass, beautiful drop pass to Alcazar from Talbot. A basket, 61-43, alone. Izzy Chamberlain. Izzy Chamberlain with another basket. Foxborough did not sit around and wait for anything. They just went right up the court. Another three-pointer thrown up by Talbot. No good. Rebounded by um, Felker. Back out to Talbot. Talbot with a very long three, and she hits it. Wow. This kid is fearless from throwing the shots up from out there. You know, she still, she wants her team to stay in this game, and she's going to do anything it takes. And, and there was a turnover as Foxborough inbounded. I don't know whether somebody stepped on the line, I guess. I did not get a chance to see it. All right. Al-Assad has it. She'll take the quick knifing, slicing move and gets the basket. So some quick baskets here all of a sudden. And I think Lisa is going to get Cam Collins back in the ballgame. Timeout was called. Let's look at Izzy on the fat on the again Foxborough the long pass from Sullivan Izzy right there and does nice not job. clutch on it. Great job by Izzy. You know she's basically alone. You know you just have to think one two three put it up. You know I'll focus. Four points for her in the contest. 427 left. Both teams with two outs two timeouts remaining. Drake it with six fouls. Foxborough only with two. Foxborough will be in the bonus on their next foul. And that could be a huge factor in settling this game. Lisa Downs always as animated as ever on the sidelines. She is instructing these kids every minute she's out there. Definitely one of the best coaches in our area. I think one of the best in the state. And just so involved, um, so passionate. You know, she is eating, sleeping, drinking basketball. Great role model for the kids, too. I mean, we always talk about getting women back into coaching. I'm glad Lisa came into it and came back to it after raising a family. She has been amazing at the job. Agree. All right, Cam Collins will inbound the pass against pressure. Quickly out to Foley. Foley will dribble it off her foot, loses it as they're on the floor. They're going to call a tie up. That should be Drake at possession. Don't. This is time for the Foxborough Warriors not to get, uh, not to rush things at all. That might have been a dead spot dribble. It, it, you know, maybe that was the first one we've seen, right? That might have been one. But Erin, you know, typically she's she's a good ball handler, you know, very careful. Uh, another big three. No, this one runs off. Collins with the rebound. Playing Collins with. quickly drawing a double team. Oh, and she does get the offensive foul. That's five on her. She did push off. There's no question about it. So now the job for the Warriors becomes a little bit tougher. They do have the big lead right now, 15-point lead. Let's see what happens. Collins tried to clear out, and yes, nice move to get there by Talbot. But Lisa's getting an explanation of it, but you know, I think you have to call that one. It was explained to me at one time. Lisa thinks that she jumped in there and made the contact beforehand. But she's okay with it. Well, she's settled for it anyway. <laughs> Izzy Chamberlain goes in the game, so it becomes a little bit more difficult for the Warriors. But there are only 4:10 left. 
This could be an exciting game down the finish, but I think the Warriors have a bit of a pedigree. Talbot is going to go into the lane, spin move, reverse layup. She's going to try to lead this team by herself, practically. It is a 13-point lead for Foxborough. It was 22. All right. Chamberlain looks to Reuter. Reuter gets it out. Hill has it. Now back in, uh, the shot taken by Reuter, and she is fouled. I think it is on Alcazar. She wants to have words with the ref as well. That's her third. It is on Amaya Alcazar. Addie Reuter will go to the line, shooting two. The State Division II Championship is on the line. Reuter's first one falls off the rim. She has 13, I'm sorry, she has uh, 15 points coming into this moment. Dips and shoots. Perfect. Switch. 64 to 50. Foxborough up by 14. Reuter, I mean, uh, the Reuter redirected that one a little bit, but the shot goes nice. out. Talbot had to think twice. She was going into a big kid. The pass went out, the shot failed. Foxborough, a tie up, and that will be Foxborough possession. As Al Assad comes up and grabs the ball, and they are very pesky that way. So again, Drake, it was 17 fouls. Foxborough has to take care of the basketball. Sullivan will go in. She's Bump, the foul will be on the floor, but as this as that was, the eighth, that should be the eighth team foul, right? She will shoot one and one. She will shoot one and oh yes, yes. Everybody come on, get on the line, shooting one and one. Kaylee Sullivan. 16 Gan points for Sully. Gannon her first foul of the game as Sullivan goes to the foul line. It gets in. Bounces around the rim and goes. 17th point in the game for her. 322 left. It is a 15-point lead for Foxborough. And Man another pain. one. And they'll need those. If they get fouled, they're, they're, you can tell that Drake is going to be aggressive trying to get the ball. They've got to get a couple more fouls, get them into the double bonus as well. Erin Foley has the task of trying to you know, limit what Talbot does. And she does successfully there, although, do they call a foul on her? That's on the floor. That's on the, that, that was on out of bounds off of Foley. But she did a good job of walling that shot, that pass off from Talbot, so. Al Assad will inbound the ball. Looking, looking, five second violation. That was a quick five seconds. I wasn't no, I expecting think that. that. Was a, actually, I thought that was a long one, Kate. I thought they gave her, they, when they gave her the ball, they gave her a, lo a slow count. I really think they did. All right, Foxborough has the ball. Sullivan's going to look for that ball. Sullivan, foul. quick over to Foley coming in. Chamberlain gets it back out to Sullivan. Sullivan on the to the left of the basket, far out, and a foul. Talbot fouls Foley, and, and that, she'll be shooting. And what a smart move by Foley, knowing that that uh, Ashley Talbot is frustrated, and she's going to try to pick it anyway. So she kept her kind of behind her with that play, and now she goes to the line. One and one. Aaron Foley at the foul line. Shooting one and one. Dips and shoots. Bounces off the rim. Rebounded by Drakett by Felker. All right, Talbot brings it up. Talbot again with the long three from the right side this time, no good. Rebounded by Chamberlain. Foxborough has the ball. 240 left. Sullivan gives it off to Hill. Hill has it. Back to Sullivan. Sullivan to and Foley she's on the drive and she's fouled. And Foley will again go to the foul line. Nice this time for drive. two. Nice strong drive by Aaron Foley. Foley at the foul line, 231 left. Foxborough up 16. First one rolls back it. in, rattles around, rolls around once, and goes in. 
67 to 50. Aaron Foley. And yeah, she's back next year too, folks. They all are. That's an amazing part about this team. Gets the second one with ease. And it's now an 18 point lead. And here comes Drake. It. Al Assad has it. Dribbling. Tries to penetrate. Looking for somebody open in the lane. There was somebody open, but that shot's going to be by Gannon. That's a three. I told you she's sneaky, but that's her yes. first basket of the game. First basket, you're right. Timeout called immediately by Drake. 68-53, 2.13 left. They're putting up their baskets. The middies are putting up their baskets and not going to go out without a fight. They are not. And they're probably going to, you know, put up some sort of a, a pressing zone. Um, maybe not. May, maybe they will go to man because, you know, Cam's out. She's hard to match up against. But we'll see what they... This is uh, Brody, Brody Gannon. Let's see Brody Gannon. I remember, I thought she would be a little bit more of a weapon in this game because she does have a nice release on that shot. And they've used her to best advantage up to this point. You don't know, you notice that it gets darker and lighter here in our broadcast location, but it's because we have a scoreboard right behind us. I hope my hair's not going to fall out tomorrow. Who knows what radiations in those things? Right. <laughs> All right, the, in the new press, <clears throat> press box in... Uh, the Meadowlands uh, at the MetLife Stadium. The press box was very close to one of the corner uh, scoreboards, and I thought for sure I was going to get a suntan off of that. Oh boy. All right, the Warriors come back on the floor. Ava Hill, Addie Reuter, like, uh, Kaylee Sullivan, uh, Izzy Chamberlain, and uh, Aaron Foley. Those are your five right now, Foxborough. They're going to take you home. Work together, Hill, Foxborough. Back to Hill. Hill's going to bring it across. The pass gets it into the zone. Sullivan has it. Sullivan being attacked. Surprise, at least two fouls could have been called. They're letting them play. Sullivan turns around, puts it off the rim. No good. The rebound will be deep for Felker to get. Here comes uh -oh. Al Kassar. Al Assad, rather. Al Assad driving in, and there'll be a foul out front. And oh, I think we have an injury and to I think, Kaylee uh, Sullivan. Something happened to Kaylee. I'm not sure if it's her. It's not a knee. It looks like an ankle. She's Kaylee to Sullivan it off. might have turned her ankle. I think you're right. And so they did blow the whistle. Kaylee Sullivan. Let's see what they see on the on coming up the court. If we can so see she's anything. She's dead here, and she's looking to take a shot. Maybe she felt that yeah, she might have fallen on the ankle there, and. Lisa Downs does get her out of the game. 149 left. I didn't see who went in. Sampson, uh, Sampson, in Sampson, Sampson went in, okay. So, midi ball. All right, Felker has it. Felker gives it off. The long shot by Talbot, no good. Rebounded by Hill. Hill is fouled. Ava Hill will go to the foul line. What it, no, he's calling it on Ava. No, I don't believe so. He's pointing. Oh, I'm sorry. They're You're pointing right. to her to go to the foul line. That's where she's going there. Ava Hill. I said the word Hill a lot last night, too. Yeah. So I'm saying that a lot today, too. So Ava Hill will go to the line shooting two. It's a t they've gone to the double bonus. Ten fouls on Drake. It. Ava comes at right now with nine points. Could make double figures. Does. She does. A little bit of adversity hitting the Warriors here with Cam Collins fouled out. Kaylee Sullivan turned her ankle, I believe. But can they bring them home? The second shot, Raddy Reuter slaps it. No, it does not. It goes into the hands of uh, the middies. Here comes Talbot. Talbot on the drive. And, and, and uh, yeah, this is a She has called for a travel. This is a travel. Definitely uh, called for a travel there. 127 left. 16 point lead for Foxborough. Facing a press. Hill gets it off. Oh, no, sorry. No. Hill has it now. Ball is, again, Hill's fouled again. And that is, I think, by uh, Talbot. Which would only be her second, I believe. It is her second personal foul. Ava Hill at the foul line. With a chance to increase the distance between the Warriors and the Middies. Gets the first. And in the process, draw closer to hoisting that trophy. 
Closer to going to take another banner too, right? <laughs> oh, I guess they'd have to find room in the gym. Next year, they're going to have to find another more room on the 1,000-point banner, too, I would assume. Yes, that oh. second one will not rattle in, but it's loose. Chamberlain comes down with it. Sampson to Hill. Inside from Foley. Slapped the way it is. Middy's ball. Talbot will bring it up. Throws up the shot. No good. Rebound fought for. Chamberlain nice comes down with it. Hill has it. One minute left to go in this game. Chamberlain has it. Gets it out to Sampson, and she is fouled. And that's what they have to do now. That was Mackenzie Murphy on that foul, I believe. It is 70 to 53. First one by Sampson is no good. We are close and we to history, our... and that's it. They're pulling. They're pulling Talbot. The the towel has been thrown in. The Foxborough Warriors are on the verge with 53.7 seconds left to taking their third state championship under Lisa Downs and with, back uh, home to Foxborough. Know, Maddie Mayer checking in, and Michelle Brandt Senior is checking in. Second and one. Addie there's Eddie Ruder with the rebound. That's a fitting finale there and a timeout called by Drake it and I think they'll just empty the bench at this point the Foxborough Warriors on their way home with some trophy I love it I absolutely love it this has been a statement performance by these Warriors they have proven throughout this season how good they've been. And to, to be honest, when people came up to me and said, you know, why are they the fifth seed? Why are they the fifth seed? Well, the Hockamock League was a little down this year. That's why the ratings put them there. But you could see this team was better than the first seed. And if you didn't believe it, I'm better than the, the, the number five seed. If you didn't believe it, because remember how long they were at number seven? Right. And yeah. it, once, they, once they knocked off Walpole and they did it convincingly in the fourth quarter, I think that just shows you this team was destined for something good. And as I keep saying, they're all back next year. They are all back. So exciting. 48.1 seconds remaining. We've got a lot of people on the court for Drake. I have no idea who they are. McKen uh, sorry, that um, number 15 throws up a shot. And that is Julia Graham. Julia Graham, yes. Foxborough with the rebound. Here they come. 29 seconds left. They still have a shot clock. Two second difference, maybe a one and a half second difference. Tripped up as Sampson drives to the basket. She'll go to the line. Sampson will go to the line for two more. 72 to 53 is the score. As Kylie Sampson, a freshman, will go to the line selling that the the line of talent continues on in this town gets Sam the Pink first yep. the program is in good place and a lot of subs going out there right now twenty one point five seconds left before the celebration can start in earnest but you know they're feeling it here among the blue and gold that shot is missed Elizabeth Schenk has the rebound Coming up the court, 15 seconds left. Ashley Anderson kept bringing it up. Dive for the ball, Ava Hill. They're still playing hard. Reuter has it. Four, three, two, one. The shot by Captain. Our senior, Michelle Brandt. That was by, you're right, that was by Michelle Brandt. The Foxborough Warriors are the champions. The Foxborough Warriors have won the Division II State Championship. The final score, 73 to 53 over the Drake at Middies. Amazing. you got some more hardware. Make some room for it. Amazing, amazing team effort by this team. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six Warriors on the book. 
for the for the for the win, you know, for the ultimate win. Great job. They Absolutely. should be so proud of themselves. Absolutely fabulous tonight. I mean, just just to watch this team and to what they've done all year. And I again, I have only announced a few of the games, but I certainly watched as many as I could. And Lisa always sent me the book for each one, so I, I feel like I know this team better than I know some of the other ones I'd see more often. And just to see what they were capable of. As I was watching film, I wasn't going to say it, but I really thought that Drake could not beat this team. Unless Talbot threw in 45 points or something right. like that. And another she did that in the past. And, you know, she gave it her best shot, but again, I think she was a little confused by the, the, num by the uh, stripes on the floor, shooting from way outside, more, more like 26, 27 feet on some of her shots. Or, you know, maybe she can I find that I range, so. I you think, know? Maybe you know, she's come getting to think ready. of it, some of the ga games I watched, she threw them out from that far, too. 15 points for Cam Collins tonight. Four points for Izzy Chamberlain. 18 for Kaylee Sullivan. Aaron Foley had three points. Kylie Sampson. You know what? I made a mistake in my book. Uh, Kate, if you could just look over. Sure. Look over. Uh, tell me what Kylie Sampson had for free throws in that fourth quarter. I think I have her at one for four. Okay. You're right. So so she had uh, four points. Yep. Uh, Ava Hill, 11 points. And Addie Reuter. 16 points. Another great balanced performance by the Foxborough Warriors. Lisa Downs and the Warriors accept the championship trophy. Wow. It's amazing. Captains. Maddie Mayer. Maddie and, uh, Mayer and Cam Collins. Lisa and the captains posing in front of the MIA hardware that they put out there so that they can record it for all time and the Warriors join the crowd everybody comes in all the assistant coaches everybody get to hold up the championship banner and have the official team picture taken this is a great moment here and for those of you who uh, are watching us here on, on our delayed broadcast if you had the privilege of being there and watching it I hope you felt it just as much as Kate and I have felt it up here Oh, we had a blast. Great moments of joy here. Some moments of challenge. And you can see the Foxborough Warriors, even with even with uh, Collins having fallen out of the game and with Sullivan maybe limping a little bit towards the end. Yes. <laughs> absolutely got it done. As they raise the trophy high before the fans of Foxborough High School that have traveled up here to Lowell for this game. And that's the last game tonight on the docket here yeah, at the Mass the best Mutual for last. Center. <laughs> so they did get the Foxborough Warriors a championship here. The final score once again, 73 to 53. Kate, I believe we're going to do a post game situation. I'm not quite sure yet, but I hope we do. It means I'll have to move fast because we'll have to do it down there at the court. But if that's the case, now they're giving out the ribbons and stuff. Well, I'll let they you never do gave out this kind of hardware before. Right. I'll let you do the honors of the post game if you well, don't thank mind. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate <laughs> it that. It was a pleasure. Every single game is always fun. Kate, it definitely was a pleasure working with you, too. And hopefully we'll be able to work more together next year. Yeah, I think that's what, what we should do. <laughs> All right. As the Warriors take a victory lap in front of their fans celebrating. What on that great moment here. Foxborough's fourth state championship and the third under the tutelage of Lisa Downs in her 12th year as head coach. A very, very happy moment for the town of Foxborough. So just soak up the moment here, folks. Look at that. 
The photographers closing in to get these happy moments. I notice uh, I see uh, a couple people I know among that crowd. And now the teams, the, the, uh, Lisa Downs actually taking a few pictures of the celebration on her phone. Just absolutely soaking in the moment. A third state championship. And you know what? Their championship uh, banquet, their, actually their, their breakup banquet is tomorrow. Now it's a championship banquet. How terrific is that? So here from the Sangha Center in Lowell, as the Foxborough Warriors complete their celebration and head off underneath the stands, hopefully we will figure out what we're going to do in a few minutes and then we will see the Warriors celebrating even more. And then tomorrow, that banquet, the food's gonna taste ever so much better with a state championship in their back pocket. Another one. And like I keep saying, and take this to the bank, folks, all of them return next year. I can't wait. I've enjoyed bringing you this game. And uh, I've been here with uh, Kate Hill today, all the folks here at Foxborough Cable Access, as we watch some of the highlights here of the Foxborough Warriors as they built the big lead and dismissed the challenge of the Drake at Middies. Enjoy the pictures and thank you for joining us today. Thanks so much for letting me come into your homes and bring you this game. I'm Mark Farinell, Kate Hill, all everybody at Fox Pro Cable Access. Hopefully we'll be back with a post game interview session. Everybody. Welcome back to the Sangha Center here in Lowell. I'm Mark Farinella, and these are your state Division II champions, the Foxboro Warriors. A great performance today, defeating Drakett. I even forgot the final score, but it was it was pretty impressive. So I'm here with Lisa Downs, the three-time champion, head coach here of the Warriors, fourth overall for the for the program all these years. Lisa, um, yeah, I know you guys had confidence coming in, but when you see a kid like Talbot throwing up the shots like she did, you got to wonder, you know, is everything going to go our way tonight? What was the most important thing for all these kids to have in their minds tonight? I think more so than anything, they just needed to be calm. They just needed to relax. We needed to just remember why we were here, and it was our, our defense has gotten us here. Um, you know, we just needed to make sure that we worked as a team, our help defense was effective, um, and then we were able to offensively, Get the ball up the court well look for the better of the of the options out there because they were they were in all those passing lanes um but then we when we shot we shot to score um and then we were just we were just diving on the floor just doing other things we normally do um you know but that's what makes them so good is they're a dynamic team that can work so hard on both ends of the court did you do anything specific against Talbot, or was it just uh, an idea of let her score and try to stop everybody else? Well, we knew she was going to score. She's a great scorer. Um, so what we are actually trying to do is make sure that her shots were only coming from beyond the arc. So we are, if everyone was on her, she was making sure that giving her some space, and then when she picked up her dribble, we knew she was going to launch it, so everyone was then going to contest the shot. Um, every time she drove, we were trying to double her, um, her drive into the paint, and we did a decent job on that. Not so much in the first quarter, but we got better and better as each quarter came. Building a gradual lead, a little bit of a run made by them, but your kids really just stood firm and fended it off. How proud of you are, are, are you of all these kids for doing I'm, that? I'm an, I don't want to cry right now, but I'm enormously <laughs> proud of these girls. They're, they work so hard, um, and I, I, I just love them. I really do. Um, they're love just, you, they, you, you guys are awesome. So. And the good thing, folks, they're all back next year. We've got to remember that. Mm -hmm. um, let's, for a second, can I talk to uh, Cam Collins? Woo! Cam, yeah! pop over here. Cam, you, you had foul trouble tonight. But you came in the third quarter and you just played completely all out mm -hmm. and you gave everything you had. Even though you fouled out in this one, that performance in the third quarter, I think, was very important to getting the Warriors really on that right path to sustaining any, your offense and then to worrying about, you know, what they might do. 
<laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, well, I just, uh, we always say play warrior ball, so I think we always have to execute when it comes down to it, and I'm just so proud of these lady warriors uh, to get the W. You know, Cam, I also think, you know, again, you're back, you were captain this year along with Maddie Mayer, mm -hmm. and your leadership showed throughout this season. Um, that has got to be something great, that you take home the trophy, and then you know you come back and just about everybody is back here with you next year. You got to feel good about that. Yeah, I feel really good. Um, we're just so proud to be here, and you know we're gonna miss Maddie and Ming next year. But we all have a role, and we all have leadership that we have to get down to. So I'm excited for next year. One other warrior I'd like to talk to is Ava Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Ava, stroll over. And this is not a favor to your mom. You had a great game tonight, yes. and you really you worked hard. You made some key shots. You know, it's a tough role to come off the bench and to have to, you know, be all of a sudden in completely, you know, high speed mode. How would you feel it went tonight? Um, you know, I always try my best when I come off the bench and I need to like, I just try to fill in for wherever we need, like rebounds, like points wise. I'm just trying to keep us rolling the way we're going. I am, I would love to talk every, to everybody all at once, but I, mean, I know that I'll give, I'll throw the microphone around, Sarah, for a few seconds because, you know. Unfortunately, we're not live tonight, but I just love the fact that you guys came in here, played hard, played well, and never, ever lost your composure tonight, and that's very important. She preaches that, doesn't she? Yeah. You know, we knew we had to come into this game being calm, being content. We needed to keep our cool in order to pull off the win. Congratulations. Warriors, anybody would like to contribute? Come on over. Very quickly. Hey. I'm so proud of these girls. I'm so proud of everything we've ac accomplished, and it's just been an honor to be a part of this team. So thank you guys. Thank you, Maddie. So there you have it here from the <laughs> Sangha Center, the champions. <laughs> champions again, and who knows what the future holds. Thanks so much for joining me, folks. Congratulations. Bye-bye.